Michael Elliott, President of Amherst College here, Between Two Mammoths here with Ada Akorogeye, proud member of the class of 24E and a proud member of the Amherst soccer team. Ada, it's so great to have you here. Thank you so much for having me, I really appreciate it. So, so maybe just start with, tell me about how you arrived at Amherst, what brought you here? At the age of 16, I was at a pro club in England and I unfortunately got released from there. And at that age in England, it's kind of difficult because you're left with two choices, either continue pursuing professional soccer or get high level academics. So America ended up being the best route for me to kind of get the best mix between the two because you can't really find a good mix between the two in England. So once I started looking into going to America, started speaking to a number of schools and then once I spoke to Coach Sapone, it was a breath of fresh air. Like it was kind of a match straight away and I haven't really regretted coming here a day since. I really enjoyed it here. That's great. Coach Sapone is very, very persuasive. He is very persuasive. When he met my mum, the decision was basically already made. My mum was kind of like, this can be like your dad abroad kind of thing. And I think when you're sending your kid across an ocean, like you kind of want it to be someone you can trust. Mm -hmm. And he became that person to my mum and dad. So yeah, he's, he was very persuasive. That's great. So you're from London, yeah. from a Nigerian family. Yes. Tell me about the, the adjustment to coming to Amherst. Yeah, so um, luckily I actually thought it was a pretty seamless transition. Um, I was born in London, lived in Nigeria for three years. I moved around a lot when I was a kid initially in London, then moved around a lot in Nigeria. So I'd been kind of accustomed to move around a little, so I wasn't too daunted at the prospects of moving to um, America for college. But in terms of actually coming here, it was really nice. Um, Hannah and everyone at the Centre of International Student of Engagement were really helpful. I came for pre-orientation, so I hadn't mm -hmm. seen the campus before then. So that was nice getting that experience. And a lot of my closest friends were the international students I met during the international orientation. So after having that experience, three, four days before orientation, everything was pretty seamless then. I got pretty acclimated. So honestly, I've really enjoyed it. Really, that, really enjoyed that's great. It. How has your relationship with your team and your teammates evolved over your time here? I, I wouldn't say so much my relationships have evolved. It's more the role I've had to take mm. on in the team. So I think coming in as a first year, the expectations for what you need to bring to the team are very different. I think now going to be a senior, the expectations have shifted. So I've just become more conscious of trying to build good interpersonal relationships, trying to really set an example for the younger guys. And I've been lucky to have some really good seniors and upperclassmen since I've been here. So I think I know what the standard is of what is expected from a senior or someone that's an upperclassman. So I think, yeah, it's just I've just had to take on a more mature role, which yeah. I never really maybe thought I would fit, but <laughs> I, hopefully I do a good job of it, time will tell. I, I'm sure you do. <laughs> tell me a little bit about how you mesh the demands of being an athlete and the demands of being a student in Amherst. Yeah, I think especially in season, it can be very difficult because obviously you arrive back from the summer holidays and just straight back training regularly and then you start work again. But I actually think it's been really helpful because it's allowed me to be very regimented. Your time is in a way very limited. So it allows you to be a lot more intentional of your time and the faculty here are so helpful whenever there's any clashes or I need to attend office hours at different times, that's always available to me. We try and create as many study groups as possible as we can amongst teammates. So I found it pretty, I wouldn't say easy to balance. I think it's obviously a very rigorous environment to be in, but it's always been manageable. And I think I've become a better person time management wise because of the demands of playing a sport and doing the high level academics here. Great. Uh, serious question. I want a straight answer. Better coach, Justin Serpone or Ted Lasso? <laughs> See, that, that's a really good question because Serpone's actually been trying to get me to watch Ted Lasso for a really long time. Every time this season, like once a month, he always asks me if he started it yet. And it's been on my watch list for a while, but I haven't actually got around to it. So for now, I'm going to give you Coach Serpone, but Ask me again in a week once I've given it a few episodes, my answer might change. All right, I'm gonna follow up with you on that. Yeah, in your experience, who do you think's better? Well, I, I've seen Coach Serpone in action, and I think it's probably a better team than he's coaching. Oh, that's a safe choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never bet against the mammoths. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I thank so much for being here today. Thank you very much for having me, appreciate it.